So sometimes we want to get so pumped up. And this is where the, the Lord started to deal with me because I've, I've done a lot of research and studies of end times in the last 20 to let's say the last 30 years. I've done a lot of research and I don't want to boast about it. But it can only become head knowledge. And if I cannot know that the Holy Spirit wants to use it for His body, it's only information and to not revelation. So I believe what the Lord wants to do this morning is not to give you information about what's happening and taking place in Gaza. But it must become revelation because when it becomes revelation, then you will do something about it. Because we are living in South Africa for, a, I believe, for a divine purpose. Ons leef hier vir a godelike rede in Bloemfontein. And we can see the things that's happening there. So, in that Christ, you can just put that Zechariah 14.1. So let's just pray over it this morning and just trust the Lord. So Father, we want to give you all the praise and the honor this morning. Holy Spirit, we ask that you will come and lead and guide this morning and teach. Father, we pray that we'll, we will put everything aside and that we will open our heart just to receive because now this is about your timeline and we know that the end are near and we are living in perilous times and we have to redeem the time because the end are close and near everything shows us and we can see the birth pangs are coming and what are we going to do about this as your body of Christ in the city of Bloemfontein and in this nation of South Africa. Thank you, Lord. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. And we can say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So I want to share you with you first. There's a verse in Zechariah 14. And I want to take like two steps back and give you an overview first because you have heard a lot of things ons het so baie goed gehoor maar elkeen het die opinie but I want to, I trust the Holy Spirit and there is a lot, there is so, so much information on the internet and the media that like we are flooded with information but there is only one truth and that is the word of God through His Son, Jesus Christ. And we have to compare all this information and we have to, 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 to put it together and see what is the truth about all of this and who is standing and how is it applicable into my life in the city of Bloemfontein and in the place that we, I am standing in as a priest. To us, we are all as priesters, but every one of us had a responsibility. First, in your home, or in, in, in the place where you are staying in the place and the people around you and then in the city and then in the nation so is a clippy wat jy gooi en dan word hy groter so in the last days the Lord is telling us something he said behold the day of the Lord cometh dis wat nou nog voor en toe gaan gebeur kom I want to take Jerusalem and Israel in perspective to tell you what is coming in the future so let's take a, f a few steps ahead of us to see what is coming. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I, and you can, when we started to read here, the Lord says, for I will gather all the nations, not the enemy." So it's important to understand that Jesus Christ, the Lord, He will gather all the nations against to battle against Jerusalem. So the Lord is sending the nations, not, not uh, the, the, the principalities or the dark forces. The Lord is sa sending the nations 
to battle against the apple of his eye. And the city shall be taken, and the house filled, and the woman ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. There is a, a gathering and a battle against the city and against the Lord's holy people that will come in the last days. Some of this I've prepared a couple of years ago. I've never used it. But to start from one point, I want to tell you something. If you read Revelation 13 about the Antichrist and the mark of the beast, it's about one world government and one world order. So the, the whole plot and the whole focus is about one world order, one world, so that one person can rule every, everyone. And to accomplish that, there are certain things that must get in place. So ons moet dit nie die oog verloor nie. So daar is globalists, ons wat oor die wereld uh, nie altyd president is nie. They are globalists, and they are presidents, and they are influ influential people in the world. But they, all of them are working towards one purpose. One world order, one world government. So the first thing that the Holy Spirit started to reveal to me is don't be, who can I say, many demokar, don't be confused or be influenced by the words of the media, of the people behind the words. So if Biden releases a statement or if, if Putin releases a statement, or if somebody else, Netanyahu, release a statement, don't accept that statement is true because just he released a statement. There's a plot and a plan behind everything there. And then you have to discern the person and the plot and the plan behind. So the, in this, I want to ask you the following. If you look at Joe Biden, do you think he's a, 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 a patriot for America, for his country? Or do you think he's a globalist? So we have to discern. This is the first thing. Is, is he a patriot? Is he standing like Trump is standing for America? Or is he no? Or is he a globalist? And if that question is, he's a globalist. So my question is, why is he standing now with Israel? Is he truly standing with Israel? Or do we just, or do we, and this is the question that the Holy Spirit asked me, that I ask and what I receive. Or do we just want to provoke a third world war? Because the only, the only way that we can start, let me show you this. The enigste manier, who gaan ons a one world government? There is a set plan to put a one world government in place. You can only do it through a pandemic. You can do it through fear. And you can do it through, through control. Because you have to set fear in place to control the people. You have to set a war in place to get control of people. So there's a whole plot behind everything. And their whole purpose is one thing. Luister boy, hulle hele doel is een wereld regering so that the Antichrist can come to the front. So he, he, now my question is, do you think Joe Biden is willing to sell out his nation, America, for the one world government? 
This is the question that, and I've never heard this question this last week or two. And is he wi willing to work with this plot? Because you see, there are so many role players. So his mindset is not America with its boundaries and the national flag and the national anthem and the people who brought them there. Nothing. He had one aim. And his whole aim is one world government. And to do that, maybe he is sending his military force and his flight deck ships and everything like into the lion's den now. Into the war zone. So first, out of this, I can tell you, he tried to, to use this vehicle and NATO is a military force and also the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and it is so well planned by the enemy and let, let me tell you why if NATO attacks a nation and I started to investigate and look into it in 2012 NATO attacks Bosnia I don't know if you did it not. They attacked Bosnia at that time. So who can you blame if they attack a nation? Can you, can you blame the United States? Can you blame Canada? Can you, can you blame any of these nations if NATO just want to attack a nation? No. You, who can you blame? You can only blame NATO. So they use, if the globalists, if they want to create for them a military, a world military force without any expense, this is the best way to create your own military. Get nations involved and tell them, if you are involved with us, we will protect you as a nation and we will give you security and peace. And as you in the book of Thessalonians, there will be a time that will come that they will set peace and security. Peace and security. This is the same slogan that they are using here. Biden has used NATO as a vehicle also to provoke Putin to attack Ukraine. He said to, to, to Ukraine, he's only the puppet. So, so the one world government is the puppet master. Market for your sin. So why I'm, I have to start here to take you to Israel. To tell you what is the whole plot and what is maybe taking behind the scenes place and how God allows the, the, the pieces of the chessboard to be, to be put in place. And out of Israel, I can see the following. Iran, did you know that Iran? And I will ask you questions and then you can just answer me. Did you know that Iran funded Hamas? You know, we will come to Hamas now. Iran funded Hamas with billions of rand for the, for, for the war. So now when you are playing chess, there's a chess board and then there are pieces on the chess board. On both sides the one piece is white and the other piece is black so the one piece is good and the other piece is evil and this is the picture that the Holy Spirit show me and then there's one sitting on this side and then there's one sitting on that side so what we don't understand the people involved in the in this game is the difference is the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness so the kingdom of darkness is Satan and his principalities. They are playing chess. And God is standing on this side from his th uh, throne room in the third heaven. And he's looking the enemy and how the enemy is moving the, the, the pieces. So we are the ground troops we are here on terra firma we are on our, with our feet on the ground we are the pieces on the ground 
So you are rather controlled, one, by the principalities in the second heaven, or we are standing underneath God's throne in the third heaven. So Hamas, you, when you play chess, say for my water van die stikke op die skaakbord, at the minst value, at the, the least value, the pionne, <laughs> the one with the most value is the king. The, this is the one, when, when it's over with him, then it's chess mate. Dans die, dans die, dans die, dans die game voorbij. But the one with the most value to protect the king, it's like the Jezebel, it's the queen. <laughs> and it's very interesting. I've never thought about this, but this is how the the world is this is how the world is is going on. So Hamas, do you think Hamas which piece on, on this uh, chess board is Hamas? Which piece there? Piona. <laughs> so uh, now I want to tell you something. We cannot allow to be a peon in the enemy's hands. To just be shuffled around. We have to distinguish between the kingdom of darkness and light and say, Lord, I'm standing for you. And I cannot, if I'm for light, you are the only one that can move me around on this board. I cannot allow the enemy to come and shuffle me. Because if you are playing in the enemy's hands, you know, when I, uh, the times when I play chess, people don't care much about the piona. You will rather trade a peon for something much more value. You will rather let the peon take a castle or a horse or something else on, on that board. But the peon is not of much value. So Hamas is controlled by Iran. The whole war was funded by Iran. And Iran was funded. And the money was released a week, a, a week before the war, the war starts by the United States of America. Did you know? They've released $6 billion dollars into into the 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 the, the uh, uh, well, how can i say the, the the pockets of 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 iran military so how can iran, how can the united states in in the same time protect america but they funded iran so, so does it make sense for you who can you trust so when we go back to the word, and then the Lord says, you cannot trust on men, you can only trust on me. Ek het een dag een verskil met iemand gehad, en toe kyk hy my so, toe sê vir my, ek kan jou nie vertrou nie. En toe sê ek vir my, jy sê maar recht, van die woord van God sê, ons kan net op hom vertrou. So ek het net die wind uit sy seil uitgehaal, want dis waar. This is my opinion, but I have to know what the truth is. I have to know what is the truth. So he doesn't say if he cannot, if, 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 I'm, uh, if there's a difference between us, and I know what is the truth, and what the Lord reveals to me, what I have to do. Now it's easy to come and accuse somebody else, and then to tell somebody, I cannot trust you. So I have to, to, to take the accusation and decide, can I take the accusation from this man? And then I can tell him the truth. No, you cannot trust me. This is your words. I believe we cannot trust Biden. One. But he's at this stage. Israel is welcoming the support. From the United States. And the leaders. And I've also worked through a lot of stuff. What people say. And Amir and everyone welcomed them. And Amir had a large huge plat platform one of the largest platforms for end times in the world but i can tell you something everything that every person said on the social media and on the telegram and on the youtubes you have to test that with the word even if it's amir safati 
Even what I'm telling you this morning, it must be tested through the Word of God. And you cannot jump on a wagon and say, no, I'm here at 700,000 uh, telegram of YouTube visitors. I can trust everything that is. There are things that I totally disagree with him. And I will show you that. Show you that. The one thing is, is, is very, yes, Israel must have support. We must do this. We must do this. Now I want to ask you, a question if you had a son and let's say he's 14 15 16 years old old and he's a boxer and you have to train him for a fight can you help him as the father every time and stand in for him for the battle or do you have to train him to stand to fight his own battles you have to train him to fight his own battles because otherwise, if you are helping him the whole time, the time when he has to stand alone, he will not know how to, to do that. And that is my problem every time when Israel is helping America. In the meantime, they are applauding America because they are helping Israel. But if I go back to the Word, the Word tells us in Ezekiel 38, there will come a time when Israel will stand on his own. So Israel must start to realize, now in the, in, in the other hand, a lot of people are now coming and supporting Israel suddenly and say, you know, there's flags in this nation at night in their buildings, there are flags in this nation and all the nations are supporting Israel. So that mark my work bekommer, because this is also a false support. This is not biblical for nations to support Israel. Because never in, in the history before was Israel supported. It was always on her own, except for America for times. And I believe there was times that America helped Israel because the Lord allowed that to be. Because it was not His final plan to be exposed on the earth. But we are now in the last phase. Now we can see Israel. I just want to tell, to give you an idea. This, this area is the size of smaller, smaller than Lesotho. And their military is between the five strongest military, militaries in the world. The size of Lesotho. Smaller than the size of Lesotho. So Gaza Strip, that size... They are, st they are living 2 million people in that size. It's about, width, it's, I think it's about 10 kilometers by 40, 32, 16 by 32. It's about, about the size of Bloemfontein, uh, east to west, and uh, about from uh, just outside Bloemfontein, from the one side to the other side. Gaza, 2 million people. Planning for this war for two years. So the other thing that we must understand Palestine is not a nation. South Africa is a nation. Germany is a nation. United States is a nation. Israel is a nation. Palestine is not a nation. Palestine was never a nation. Palestine is an organization. And there is a difference. So there are two terrorist organizations in the world, in that area. That's Hamas, and then you will get also Hezbollah, more to the side of Lebanon. Lebanon. And they are stronger. They are like, <laughs> Hamas is like the, 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 the least on the, on the chessboard, like the uh, pioner. And then Hezbollah is maybe like the bishop or the wars that can only move in that direction. And Iran becomes now like the queen on the chessboard. And then you will get Iran, Russia. Let's say Iran is more like the, the castle that can move freely upwards and downwards. But when you look at the, the queen on the chessboard, the big role players behind it. It's three big role players behind this whole thing. 
it's Russia in the end times, Ezekiel 38, 39, China from the east, and also I believe North Korea. North Korea national symbol is a red horse. It's for war. We can believe something will come from North Korea. They are sitting behind, not making any moves, but I believe they are not the one that will just throw rockets into a place like Hamas. All what Hamas do, they track my need to use spiel. They are playing, this is why they are shooting thousands of rockets in, never do something, but now some, now suddenly they killed a thousand people, thousand two hundred people, and that is the largest, what I can call massacre in Israel since 1948. And the and, and, and the daughter we have to believe one thing: the things that they have done to children, and we are sitting here, and this is the let's talk about South Africa and let's focus now on, on the body of Christ and the church do you think the church and Bloemfontein are standing together now have you het jylle al gehoor kerk is hier, kom ons bid nou, kom ons staan nou saam ons gaan nou vir Israel bid nee, why not Wa, ons is geplaan met ons eie dinge only our own things Moet moet nie hoor wat ek sê nie, gaan kyk sondag, wie, gaan kyk sondag of ons, kyk sondag of, of, of gaan jylle na jylle gemeentes toe, gaan kyk sondag of die geestelike leiders in hierdie stad wat ons bly gepla is oor wat in Israel gebeur. En die kans is goed dat al volgende week een kerk bezaar is vir ons, vir ons in Samenig. En ek sê dit net met liefde, I have to, I have to tell you the truth. Because there's promises if we stand. Promises if we stand with Israel. But you have to do it out of your heart. So this is what the Lord is telling me about South Africa. So, ons sien hierdie goed op media. Denk, om kinders te verbrand, om kinders te vermoor, hulle lede mate, it's not, yeah, it's not human. That can not be me. It's only because an ancient principality that already have done this before, revisited. This is what the Holy Spirit showed me. As alle kinders verbrand het met Molech, and I principality was silent for a time, but it's now coming back. This is when great darkness, and we have to get used to this, because this will become more re real. And even when you started to read Zechariah 14, you will read about, ons het hierdie goed het in die Bible gelees, nou sien ons dit gebeur wat hulle met kinders doen. But the church is silent about this. Je hoor wat Jullie gaan zondag hoor, jylle gaan, you, you will come and testify and tell me. En ongelukkig, and I know, and I said to Dieter this morning, I can see that the people that are here, and the, the, the way that they worship this morning, are serious about their relationship with God. And you see, there's a lot of people, they will go to a lot of other things that is, easier for them to absorb but they don't want to go into end times there are a lot of spiritual leaders that will tell i know i can i can name some of you but i will not do that that will tell you we are not involved in end times we are not preaching in times now how can you prepare the body of messiah in this nation for his coming if you aren't teaching and preparing your people for this. Unprepared. But the leaders have to stand accountable before God because they have not shown. So now there are two groups. 
Sunni and Shiite Muslims. Just to give you an overview, you can see the old, the, 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 the Sunni, this, this green uh, area, um, and also how there's also a battle between them. But I believe even in the last days, the Lord will put brothers against brothers. This is what will happen. They will start to, to kill each other. Even in the last days, this will take place. Now also you can see that the Sunni is all the green. Now even in here, you cannot even see Israel is there. Can you see the, the, the red? You cannot even see Israel. Now is it, is it, do you think it's possible in your human mind that the peace that you cannot even see there is the fifth strongest military in the world and all the other places around around him is is uh, enemies and cannot attack that small little piece cannot move that piece so who come can israel nu af gefee word van die aardbol of nie because god is their protector <laughs> that shows us you see god gaan altyd in die minor is is always interested in the remnant in the minor things. Now this verse will tell you where are we standing today. Zephaniah 2.5 For Gaza shall be forsaken and Ascalon a desolation. So the photo on her is the photo that now geneem is hierdie week. Just to show you this is what will take place now. And this is Bible prophecy. This is, this is prophesied two and a half thousand years ago by the prophet Zephaniah. He saw this. As he now iemand moet kom, if I tell you, come and prophesy for us and the Lord tell you, prophesy and you know that prophecy is only applicable for two and a half thousand years in the future. Most of the people will tell you, who cares? But the prophets of God were so involved with him that he knew he could trust Zephaniah two and a half thousand years to be born, not at this time, but two and a half thousand years to put out the prophecy that he, or two and a half thousand Two and a half thousand years ago, he, he received a vision about Gaza today. The Lord was taking him in like forward him the time and showing full HD. This is Gaza. And then he was just writing the prophecy down. Gaza shall be forsaken and Ashkelon a desolation. They shall drive out of, uh, of Ashdod at noonday. And Akron shall be rooted up. Woe to the inhabitants of the sea coast and the nation of the Gerathites and the word of the Lord is against you. And we can see that Gaza is a sea nation. They are Tienisia. Tienisia. And we can see this prophecy is coming into fulfillment. And what I realized of Bible prophecy over the years. The Lord is not giving a, 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 a revelation or reveal a mystery to, to one person only. He will give a piece of the puzzle to Mark Bultz. And then he will give a piece of the puzzle to Jonathan Kahn. Then he will give a piece of the puzzle to that person. But he will not give it to everyone. Because when, he, when, he, when the Lord gives that, uh, all the visions to one person, that person will become so prideful. He will, he, will, he will just fall into temptations. So Father God, just deal it, I deal it out. So I believe, and I, I look through all this. In 2015, I, I've done a study about Psalm 83. It's eight years ago. So when the thing started to happen now in Gaza, it just come back to me and I was prepared to receive what the Lord and I just go through it again. And now Amir 
Amir Safati believes that Psalm 83 has already been fulfilled in 1948. And I looked through the latest posts of Bill Salas, he's still alive. And I believe, and I know, and he also believes, that prophecy is coming in fulfillment now, not in 1948. And I will show you why. So this is where the, the, the Israel flag is. This is Israel. And there you get all the enemies around Syria, Lebanon, Hezbollah, Hamas, Egypt, Saudi, the Palestinians, and Jordan. And you can see the Palestinians are an organization and they came out of this group of people. Now this is Psalm 83 to give you an idea. If this prophecy was, I believe it was partially fulfilled in 1948. Some prophecies are partially fulfilled, but not complete fulfilled. But in the time to come, it's completely fulfilled now. So let's, let's look and I will go into Psalm 83. Tents of Edom is southern Jordan today. Then the Ishmaelites, it's uh, Jacob's other son. The Ishmaelites is Saudi Arabia and a portion of Jordan. We saw that Netanyahu is now in, 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 like in talks with uh, Saudi Arabia and all that people. Moabites is, 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 is Ruth, site van Moab afgekom, Central Jordan. The, Hag the Haggites, Northeastern Jordan. Gebal is Lebanon. Ammon, Ammonites, Northwest Jordan. Ammonites were the people and the spirit who attack and who attack Moses from behind. So uh, Ammon, uh, 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 Ammon spirit is a spirit that comes from behind. And you can see that in some of these Palestinians are descendants from Ammon. Some are descendants from Gebal. Some are descendants from Edom. Edom is, uh, is Esau, uh, Jacob's brew. But you can see some of them have this ancient spirit of Amalek and the attack that came in the desert on that group of people, they came from behind. And you can see the furious way and the anger of the way and the way they have treated the people. This is not normal. We have to look from these things from above because the word says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and one thing that we must know when there is a war raging here on the earth can you imagine for yourself what is happening now in the heavenlies what is happening in the heavenlies so Mike Bickle said the following they know in March in April when they started to pray for Israel Five million people in more than hundred nations, the first time in their uh, existence. Five million Gentiles all over the world prayed for Israel for 21 days. It never happened before. After that, they, the Holy Spirit started to reveal unto them they can get ready for war. Because we have to know. There are principalities in the second heaven that is playing chess. And now when they see they are losing now, they have to do something to get power from. And the only way principalities can get power from, there are many ways, but the most effective way for them to get power from is from bloodshed. Make this sense, for you, sense to you. So the more we pray for Israel, the more the danger the principalities will get, the closer will, we will get to the third world war. So this is another, this is a viewpoint that I've never heard, but it's only revealed by the Holy Spirit. So this, the more we pray, the more the light will come in, 
the more the darkness are coming in, the closer we are getting to the Third World War now. And I believe this can be a trigger for the Third, third World War. And where I differ from Amir, and, and, and I agree with, with Bill Salas is, Amir said it is fulfilled in 1948. But Philistia, the Philistines, is in Gaza. And what happened now is fulfilling right now before our eyes. The attack in Gaza. We can see. And when we go through, all right, let me show you this map. You can see this is, you can even take a picture of this map. Then you can take your Bible tonight or tomorrow. And then you'll take Psalm 83. And then you, then you can mark all the, the nations there. And you will see all the nations of Psalm 83. That is the inner circle war. They, there are two wars. The inner circle, this is the Psalm 83. Het jy al gesien, as ons een vier aan die brand steek, maak jy nie so groot, jy steek nie so hoop blits, en so, so twee stikkies hout, en nou steek jy twee stikkies hout, met so hoop blits aan, aan die brand nie. Gooi Peter, jy, jy, jy sit die hout, jy sit een klein, dis een klein vlammetje wat jy nodig het, but it started to increase. So Psalm 83 is the inner one, is die klein vierkie, but out of that, it must come. Now you can see Gebal is Lebanon and Tyre. Assyria, it's the old Assyrians where the noordelike stamme weggevat het. Ammon, Moab is in Iraq, Jordan, Edom, and then this Amalek is in, uh, in, in Israel. That is, the, Amalek is where the, the this um, Philistines that was attacking now was coming from this. And then you've got the Agarines and the Ishmaelites. So uh, Amir, uh, he, he, he's telling us, because uh, in, in 1948 the Egyptians already attacked Israel, it's partially fulfilled. They are not attacking now. They already attacked Israel in 1948. Two days after Israel became a nation, or the day after that, they were... In the first, first war, on the 14th of May 1948, Israel became a nation. The day after that, without any uh, military uh, support, without any military equipment, they, the first war started. How is it possible to survive? Now let me read to you Psalm 83. Keep not silence, O God. I will re just read six verses like. Keep not silence, O God. Hold not your peace. And be not still, O God. So this Psalm 83 was written by Asaph. That was a seer and a prophet for David. And he was a worshipper. And I believe he was involved in, when, in 2 Chronicles 20. When they put the musicians in front to conquer the war. Asaph was, he was the worship leader. So a part of that, Psalm 83, was fulfilled in that time. But you get a double fulfillment. Prophecies can be fulfilled two and a half years ago, first time, and then it can be fulfilled again. So it, 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 a prophecy is not necessary for, for, for a prophecy to be fulfilled only once. Your enemies make a tumult and they will have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against the hidden ones. You see, there's a consultation taking place now against Israel. They have said, come, let us cut them off to be a nation, that the name of Israel shall be no more be in remembrance. Because of this prophetic word, and because this is the word of God, Israel can never be taken off the face of the earth. Because the Lord has exalted His word above His name. He is Jehovah. He is Yahweh. No one can remove Him. No one will, will find any fault in Him, in His word or in Him. So every, every word that comes out of the Bible is yes and amen. Everything must be fulfilled. No one can take Israel from the face of the earth. 
Even Hitler discovered that. Six million Jews. So the thousand according to the six million. And in the future to come, there's 12 million of the 18 million Jews left in the world that must pay a price according to the prophet Ezekiel that must come into fulfillment. Two thirds, one third already died in the Holocaust. In, in the future, Matthew 24, in that time, two thirds will die. So out of this, we must just remember that Israel is the um, God had a covenant with his covenant people with Israel. But only 10% of Israel are religious. Only net 10% van hulle is uh, uh, Godvreesend. Tel Aviv is the gay capital of the world. And Chris will show you when we finish here that clip, or the YouTube clip I show them. You could see the Buddha and in the, the, the desert, the trance and the party they have held there. They are wicked, the people there. Wicked people in Tel Aviv and in Israel. It's only 90%, percent, uh, less than 10%. percent. Anders, jy sal weet, hoeveel is die, die orthodoxe jode? Is hulle 10%? percent minder. Minder. Less, much less than 10%. percent. That are faithful to the word of God. So the tabernacles of Edom, Ishmaelites, Moab, this is all the nations that I've on the previous picture and the Lord said first we must understand this prophecy is coming into fulfillment because of the following in, in this prophecy only can come into fulfillment first Israel must be back in the land so 2,000 years I have not dwelt in the land since 1948 so this is why this prophecy is now applicable they are back in the land since 1948 Two, the, the IDF must be in place because the Holocaust, from the Holocaust to now, according to the word in Ezekiel 37, 20, Israel become a great nation, a great military force in the world. And we can see three, there's a refuge crisis in Israel with their neighbors, according to the word, Zephaniah 2, 4, what was seen it. And then there have to be a confederacy, a lot of nations against Israel. And then the fifth one we have to see there must be ancient hatred. Because of Ishmael, Edo, uh, Esau and all the other principalities. We can see everything is now coming into fulfillment according to the word of God and Psalm 83. And if they can wipe now Gaza like from the map, if they can clean Gaza, you will see that this prophecy has come into fulfillment. So now my question is, so what next? So this is the turmoil point. This is why everyone is fighting. The reason is, why is everything a, a revolved a, around Jerusalem? For as long as there is a Islam or Islamitic government or this temple mount is controlled by the Muslims, Jesus Christ cannot come back and, st and, 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 and stand it on, with his feet on the Mount of Olives. And, and, and they know, the enemy know, the forces of darkness know. If they can take Israel from the map, the word of, because the Lord said to them, the promise in Deuteronomy 32, 9 says, he said, I'll give you the borders and I'll give, he said to the principalities, I'll give you all the nations. I said to the principalities in Deuteron Deuteronomy 32.9, I'll give you all the nations as your inheritance, but Israel is mine. So the principalities that's waging the war now at the moment know exactly if they can take Israel from the map, they don't, they don't, there's no need for them to go to the lake of fire. Does it make sense? And Ephesians, the word of God says, our, our battle is not against flesh and blood. But then it comes further. Principalities and powers. 
But the moment when there's accusation for us here, we are looking around here. Het jylle al gesien? As daar aanval op jou lewe is, dan kyk ons om ons. Maar waar kom het nou vandaan? Uh, hoekom gebeur het nou met my? Want ons soek het hier. But it's not coming from here. Your struggle are not coming from here. Now I want to come to the next point. What now from here on? What do we have to look for? I believe we have to look and see what's going to take place and when is Damascus be destroyed. Because Damascus is the tipping point or the turning point to the end time fulfillment. To the rapture of the bride, not the church, to the rapture of the called out ones, the ecclesia, not the lukewarm people. And I have to, I have to emphasize on this. There are many millions, millions of people that I believe that's going to stay behind when you look at the scripture. Maar hierdie wat sy komst verwag en uitsien na dit en sit soos wat ons sit vir oogend en dit wil hoor en sien wat gebeur. Expecting is coming. There's a crown waiting for you and you will not be part of the remnant of, of, the, of the people of the body that will stay behind. The bride will be taken up and the body will stay behind to go through persecution because the body has not been cleansed yet. The body needs cleansing. The church, the ecclesia needs cleansing. The church, ecclesia has to go through every, every one of these attacks that are coming. So now I want to finish off. Have you seen this, this last week? This is Brandenburg, and I, uh, I, I've sent it also to, to Dieter. Tim Cohen sent it, uh, and then I forward it on. So Brandenburg, first, that is a gate. Now die, die hack, that gate, was the gate that divides East and West Germany. Soviet Union and Germany. And that was the, 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 the wall, the Soviet wall that was taken down was here. But they left the gate there. Why did they leave the gate? Because the gate is an altar. It's a stronghold. It's a place where they can pray from. And when Hitler, when Hitler became, come to power through the Nazis, when he come into power, he celebrated the victory underneath the Brandenburg gate. Now that same gate is confusing the world and I saw even the, uh, Amir was sending out this. They are confusing with the world and telling the world, now we, we are supporting Israel. And I believe this is a false flag. This is not true support. Het jylle al gehoor, jylle sê, maar weet jy wat, hierdie ou sê uit my lief, maar kom weet jy wat, ek ervaar hy, dat is iets wat wat nie waar is nie. Dit voel soos vals, valsheid. This is a false flag. Now, I can, there is no time left to go into Ezekiel 38, but I want to finish with this. And above that Brandenburg, there are four horses. You can see, there are four horses there. It's like, it's pictured, Israel, and the book of Revelation and the four horses, all in one, unplanned. So this is the picture that I started to receive. And the trigger will be Damascus, the burden of Damascus, Isaiah 17, belt. Damascus is taken away from being a city, it shall be a ruinous heap. That can a nuclear, it's like a nuclear bomb. And in one moment, and you can go and read Isaiah 17. It says, at noon it will be a city. And in the morning it will be a ruinous heap. And I believe we are living in these times. So Father God, we just want to praise you and give the Holy Spirit first. Lord, we want to give you all the honor for sharing this with us. We are privileged to hear, Holy Spirit, that you could reveal 
your end times for us and that we will take this as so an urgent calling out because we are sitting here on the southern tip of Africa and it's time for Africa to start to stand up and rise and to prepare for the time to come to prepare the bride in Africa to pray for the peace of Jerusalem to pray for the worshippers that shall come from Table Mountain to Temple Mountain and when we received this vision four, five, six years ago and when Gareth released this vision 18 years ago the people started to laugh about this vision but we see it's on our doorstep and we have had a responsibility to stand in the gap for Israel as a nation to pray for Israel we have a responsibility towards the church and the body of Christ in Bloemfontein so Lord we are praying for spiritual leaders in the city and in this nation and even your word says awake O sleeper awake O sleeper so Lord we are calling the body of Christ to come out of the sleep so that we can see the times are near the end are near and we have to prepare because there is no much time left thank you Lord for everyone this morning thank you Lord for your word thank you Father for Andre just for the sound release for the battle the Lord will con conquer this battle in the heavenlies through a sound release every time Jericho was conquered through a sound release Jericho uh, two chronicles 2 verse 20 was, was conquered because of a sound release the Lord is waging a sound and he's, he's waging a war through a sound release and the Lord is crying out he said and through the high praises when we start to praise the Lord out of this started to praise the high praises through the high praises he will put the double-edged sword in our hand and we praise you for this morning thank you Lord for everyone here we pray for next week our brother from Namibia is here Edward Ward father we want to bless him that we will walk in unity he's a prophetic worshiper thank you Lord I pray that when he comes over we are waiting four years for him to be here four years we have invited him but Lord this is your set appointed time and thank you Jesus that you are in control and we are waiting for your soon coming return and your word declares that even the Jews will say you will not come back until the Jews said blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord <coughs> Baruch Hashem Adonai blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord thank you Lord Amen and Amen so Father we just want to bless the uh, the seed this morning for everyone who sow in, into this ministry everyone who sowed into this house not everyone who sow who sow in this house we want to bless them in even in their fruit basket every day every morning thank you Jesus that I can just come to release the priestly blessing over them now we can just all stand and then I just want to pray the priestly blessing over it Yevarecha Adunai Vishmarecha Ya er Adunai Panavelecha Vyukhaneka Yesa Adunai Panavelecha Yevashem Lecha Shalom Amen Amen Mane um Das so a baya good what us my deal um Thank you for all what say All what by draw Um Ketainis of what I come uh, Wilbur is in the Philippines, Richie is here, 
en hy en Willie het hierdie week op een man afgekom, hulle is, en daar was die eerste tyd om hierdie te getuig vir ochtend nie, op een man afgekom, hulle is al getuig, wat op pad was om selfmoord te gaan pleeg, en hulle het op hom afgekom, so die werk le nie binnen nie, die werk le daar buiten, thank you Jesus, Amen, Amen. 